Thank you. <laughs> so glamorous here at Us Weekly. <laughs> Here at Us Weekly, we do this thing called We Tried It. So today, we would like to try some of these celebrity beauty trends that are going on right now. Yes. We, it's been a lot of fun. Been, um, yeah, gotta I go. will see you soon. <laughs> yes. It's stinky. Okay, so the first one we have is courtesy of Kourtney Kardashian. This is, of course, Ghee. And she wrote on her blog that she melts it, she drinks it, and then waits about 20 minutes before she has any food or water, and she does this in the morning. So Ghee clarified butter. This is part of that whole bulletproof keto yes. diet craze. And look, I'm not gonna sit here and say Ghee is good or bad for you. Mm -hmm. It's well over 50% saturated fats, in moderation, all that's fine. So if it works for her, that's great. Sure. But it is one of those things where I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that Ghee is this wonderful magic bullet. I've never drank ghee plain. I'm about to just because I said I would. It's like sitting on the this top. Is <laughs> it's so gross. I can't, I can't do more than just a, yeah. <laughs> Cor Courtney, <laughs> proud of you. Yes, way to way go, Way to go. Okay, the next one is from Gwyneth Paltrow. This is bone broth. And she says that she sips bone broth for plumper skin. And she said this on her website too. What people will say is because bone broth has collagen in it, which mm -hmm. is one of the proteins that really is, is so predominant in our connective tissues that by drinking bone broth, you're gonna have better skin. Okay. Sorry, Gwyneth, the problem <laughs> is this. When you imbibe a protein, when you digest it, you break that protein down into amino acids. So okay. it's not like you drink collagen and then it just travels through your system into your skin and gives you this wonderful skin. Mm -hmm. That So th those kinds of claims are a little bit misleading. As far as actual scientific data, the jury's still out. Okay, so should we try there, it? <sighs> I knew you were gonna do this. I'm sorry. Okay, it doesn't smell as bad as the ghee. No, bone broth is not nearly. That's not that bad. No, That's it's fine. it's a very subtle. Yeah. It's a broth. Right. I could do that. But again, it's not like chugging bone broth is going to make your skin perfect. <laughs> right. Okay, so this one I'm excited about because this is from Shailene Woodley, and she uses roasted beets as lipstick. She dabs a little bit of on her lips, and she's good to go. Brilliant. Brilliant. I love this. Yeah. yeah. So beets obviously are very dark, right? Mm -hmm. And this is a wonderful natural color. Have you ever tried it? I haven't. Give it a whirl. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go there with you. <laughs> oh yeah, a little bit. Very, very subtle. Very subtle. Mm -hmm. And you know, beets, what I love about beets also, more and more foods are using beets to color mm -hmm. as opposed to red number, dye number, blah, 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 which have no health benefits. You can take beets and even give you some rose colored cheeks. Sure, yeah. You can do your whole makeup with it. You could. <laughs> could. Beets blended together with ghee and bone broth, Oh, <laughs> okay, so next one, um, this is courtesy of Margot Robbie. So instead of using a lip balm, she uses nipple cream. A lip lot balm. of lip balms, mm -hmm. you are not getting the benefit that you think you're getting. Sometimes they, they can't have ingredients that require to use it more and more. So mm -hmm. I like this one. You okay. want to try it? Yeah. The lanolin in this is very moisturizing, feels good. Mm -hmm. So I, like I give one. two thumbs up to Margot okay. on that one. So our next one is from Snooki. So this one's gonna be a little out there. Instead of using a regular exfoliant, she uses cat litter. So she mixes some water with cat litter and she rubs it all over her face because that's what one does. <laughs> all of these that we've talked about mm -hmm. are really about what do you like to do? Do you mm -hmm. like ghee? Do you like bone broth? Beets or nipple cream? <laughs> this is an unequivocal do not do this. Yeah. Tip because if you think about what is cat litter meant for? Cats. Yes, and, and it's overly yeah. abrasive. These are pebbles, mm -hmm. there's also chemicals in there. Yeah. And again, you wanna be as natural as possible when you're using an exfoliant. Don't do that. Don't do this at all. We're home. not even gonna try. Okay, so our last one is from Julianne Huff. She uses turmeric as toothpaste. She said it makes her teeth whiter and it has antibacterial strength. So I don't hate the idea because again, turmeric's an anti-inflammatory. What happens in our, our mouths is we can get a lot of inflammation, mm -hmm. gingivitis. But I personally believe that you should be using products that are meant for brushing your teeth. And mm -hmm. that's why every day I floss, I brush my teeth twice with toothpaste. toothpaste. <laughs> and I will use an oil rinse. You know, turmeric to me is meant to be cooked yeah. with. Mm -hmm. and, and so, you wanna Medicine. do it? Oh boy. <laughs> it just feels wrong. It does feel wrong. It looks wrong, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay. Here we go. 
<laughs> Not pleasant. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Look, nothing wrong with that, but I'm not proposing brushing with turmeric. What about Absolutely you? Absolutely not. Nope, never doing that again. So out of all of these, which one do you endorse? So the one thing I would say is the cat litter is a definite no. <laughs> Love the idea of beets for some natural color for your lips. The nipple cream with the lanolin for the lips, I like it. I, like I had never too. used that. Mm -hmm. Turmeric, if you want to try it, go for it. The ghee, bone broth, that's just personal preference. Sure, Dr. Travis, thank you so much for trying all of these things with us and being a bit adventurous. Thank, thank you. Thank you.